What time is it? It's Pirate Time! Hey, everybody, what time is it? There's no time like Island Time. Nobody is ahead, nobody's behind. Everything's fine on Island Time. And you'll be living on Island Time. Caribbean breezes blow through my mind. We're saying... All right, it is the Memorial Day weekend edition of the Island Time Radio Show. How's everybody doing tonight? DK, Dennis is king on duty. <laughs> Gotta remember my name, that's right. I hope everybody had a great holiday weekend. And uh, we got a fun show lined up for you tonight. It is Flocking of the Faithful, preview number three. What is Flocking of the Faithful? For those who have no idea what I'm talking about, it is the biggest trap rock event in this part of the country. It's been going on for about 25 years, and this is the final one. This year at South Bass Island, Putin Bay, Ohio. It'll be June 6th through the 9th. And uh, for this whole month, we are interviewing entertainers at the event. And we've got another fun one lined up tonight. Latitude, Michelle and Tom Becker will be joining us shortly. And a little bit later, Don Middlebrook will be checking in. And we may even have a, a surprise. We'll tell you about that here shortly. All right, let's get to things. This is the Crazed Mugs. Great album a couple years ago. We used to play them like crazy on the show. Where are they? They got to put out another album. They're due. They're due. Anyway, this is one of our old favorites, Rum Barrel, starting things off tonight on Island Time. Rum Barrel drink, Rum Barrel mug, Rum Barrel think me in Rum Barrel love. From barrel buzz, from barrel high, from barrel order at the great my guy. Don't know when I'll get another one, but all I want is that barrel of rum. Rum barrel, rum barrel, barrel of rum. Rum barrel, rum.
barrel make a howling. And the babes working in the waves all day. You got the buff boys running with the sea dew packs, jumping over fairy wakes. You got the jet boat docking at the pier downtown, she moving up nice and slow. It's summertime and the people are primed, they're lined up, they're ready to go. The lake shoots sparks as they hit the park, and everybody's getting ready to play. And it's a real good day on Putin Bay, and it's a real good day today. And it's a real good day on Putin Bay, and it's a real good day today. You got your monument standing up straight and tall, old Perry shining up in the sun. You got golf carts, old farts, parents and kids are loaded up and are looking for fun. You got the big butt bikers huffing and a puffing while the pedals go up and down. Some are drinking wine, some are feeling fine while the beer boys are pounding them down. Ooh, there's a guitar man, a one man band, come on, he's getting ready to play. And it's a real good day on Putin Bay, and it's a real good day today. And it's a real good day on Putin Bay, and it's a real good day today. Hey! So give me more, more of the Erie Shore. Get your little hand in the air. Or give me more, more of the Erie Shore. Honey, let me take you there. Give me more, more cigarette boat door. Give me sailboats rocking at the dock. I'm saying yes, yes. Well, I guess everybody knows it's party time. And I've been stopping at the shops in the South Best Boppin'. Everybody is a friend of mine. So it's an anchor's away, honey. See we play. Let me coin a new cliche. And it's a real good day on Putin Bay. And it's a real good day today. And it's a real good day on Putin Bay, and it's a real good day today. And it's a real good day on Putin Bay, and it's a real good day today.
That is Latitude from the brand new CD. Song called Come Aboard. CD is called Life in a Beach Town. On the Island Time Radio Show tonight, having a good time already we are. Alex Bevan was in there with a Puddin' Bay song, Pretty Good Day, at Puddin' Bay. And the Crazed Mugs, Rum Barrel. Anybody knows the the Crazed Mugs, or if the ki- Crazed Mugs happen to be listening, you guys are due for an album. That's all I got to say. They had a great album. It was like four or five years ago. And we haven't heard anything since. Anyway, it is the Flagging of the Faithful preview show, number three tonight of four. We have a very special surprise coming up. I won't even say what it is until it happens. We'll just let that happen. Uh, but we do have Michelle and Tom Becker from Latitude on the telephone standing by. We're going to talk to them right after this very quick break. It's a fun one tonight on a Memorial Day, end of Memorial Day weekend edition of the Island Time Radio Show. Check out our website. It's itrshow.com. You can find out all about the encore stations that air our show, like Beachfront Radio, Radio A1A, Shore Life Radio, and uh, Surf 97. I'm out of breath. I'm running all over the place tonight. Also, the podcasts are happening. A1 Radio A, A1A Media. There we go. A1A Media is, is where it comes from. But you can access our, our podcast now from all kinds of different platforms. iTunes, YouTube, uh, SoundCloud, Spotify, Alexa. Uh, on and on and on. There's just countless ways to uh, hear the show through the podcast. So check it all out. Go to A1A Media if you're not sure where to begin. Or just go to YouTube and put Island Time Radio Show. That's another easy way easy way to find it. But uh, very happy about that. Okay. It's time to party with a purpose at the 4th Annual Chicago Summer Chill. Brought to you by the Chicago Parrothead Club. Come join us at the Hyatt Regency in Schaumburg on August 1st through 4th. Entertainment includes Johnny Rustler and the Beach Bum Band, the Tom and Coley Band, Donnie Brewer, Sonny Jim, the Detentions, and many more. Afternoon music will be in the outdoor pool area open only for Summer Chill, where you can lounge in the pool within feet of the stage. Evening music will be in a huge private ballroom. Go to ChicagoParrotheads.com and click on the Summer Chill logo to register and get the special room rate. All right, thank you very much. That's coming up in Chicago, Illinois. Summer Chill 2019, another hot trap rock event happening this summer. We're going to go down to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I believe that's where they're at these these days. I'm not sure, but we'll find out. Michelle and Tom Becker from Latitude. Hey, Michelle and Tom Becker. Good evening. Hey. Good to talk to you, my friend. Yes, yeah, great to hear you guys again. How's it going? It's going terrific. We were lo- so looking forward to the bay. Put in bay. You guys are coming back for the final flocking. I'm very excited about this. It's the final. Yeah. The old team. We're bringing the old team back. <laughs> We're getting the band back together. <laughs> That's right. You guys still there? <laughs> Yes, yeah, so we're bringing the band back together. You guys played Flocking of the Faithful several times in the early 2000s, and then I think you came back at least a couple more times after that. But uh, oh, yeah. Patty and Dan wanted to bring back some of the old faces, some of the original, and what, you know, kind of when Flocking hit its peak, I guess you'd say, for the, yeah. for the very final, uh, final blowout. And you guys are going to be there. Very excited about that. Oh, we are, too. I can't wait. We just can't wait to see everybody. That's an awesome, stellar group of people there. <laughs> that I think we were one of the first trap rock uh, events that you guys played. I mean, you, we were kind of somewhat of an introduction to this world. I know you you got a crazy set of them down there in the Carolinas, but uh, yeah, no, I think you're right. I think yeah, that no, was. No, I think, after, I think you, guys, yeah, you were after, you were the first yeah. big event that, that we ever played. Yeah. And then from there, uh, you know, the rest is history. You guys have been all over the place. Uh, I'm looking at the schedule to see when you are playing. It is uh, Friday night is the first appearance, right? Seven o'clock. I think I think your phone is cutting out. Yeah, I think your phone is cutting out. This is follow following the coastline from the uh, Latitude Live album a few years ago on Island Time. Here we go, following the coastline. some fun and just rock and roll Can't you hear the ocean calling through this traffic 
All right, that's Michelle and Tom and uh, following the coastline live. And before we go back to Michelle and Tom, we have a uh, surprise guest in the studio, Bob Banerjee. Who? Hey. Yes. <laughs> How are you, my friend? Well, considering that I'm running from the law and uh, bad debts, yeah, I guess I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bob is full of surprises this weekend. We had no idea he was coming to the studio. We thought it was going to be a phone call. But I knew you were in town. We'll talk about this in a little while. Yeah, but you did some music over the weekend. And he apparently decided at the last minute to come to the show. How fun is this? I'll tell you what. I love Cleveland. How's that for a Pittsburgh guy to say There that? you go. This is amazing. I had a, a wonderful host, Michelle Jennings, uh, help me. And I couldn't catch up with other friends like Ron Pikowski and, uh, and oh, you yeah. guys. And, you know, I have such great friends that are up here. But I, uh, yeah, that didn't exactly work out. But it was one of those things where I pointed my car north and it came here. I love it. <laughs> I love it, Bob. This is, this is awesome. Are you going to be able to play? I, I brought a fiddle. Is okay. that okay? Yeah. We'll do, we'll do something. <laughs> we'll see. It sounds really empty by itself. Well, but that's all right. That, that's why you have great musicians like Latitude come on the show and all that. Speaking of Michelle and Tom, let's go back to uh, Myrtle Beach. We have Michelle and Tom. Are you there? Yeah. I wish we were there in the studio. I there know. We... It began with Bob. <laughs> <laughs> they remember me. Yeah. Say hello, Bob Banner. How do we do that? Hello, you two. You guys are wonderful. Oh, oh my gosh. We missed your face. We're going to be seeing you soon. I can't wait. We miss you, Bob. We need to make that happen sometime soon. Latitude and curry or something like that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. What 
could possibly go wrong? You know, that seems to be our uh, our, our definition this year, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what could go wrong? Well, actually, I, I do remember one uh, a, a put in bay trip we did once, and we sat it. We went to, over to see you, and I think you were going to play the fiddle on a John Denver song that we were going to play, and then you looked over, and I don't think your fiddle was uh, was working correctly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would that would pretty much define how the what could go wrong <laughs> treatment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you guys? Step that one off, so that won't happen again. That's just a one-time thing. Yeah, we're we're professionals now. <laughs> we can handle anything. Now you guys are all going to be on the island on Saturday. So is that incredible or what? Uh, Latitude is at uh, let's see Saturday night. Uh, and then uh, you guys, Corn Beef and Curry, are playing about nine. Yeah, we're we're playing at the the real bar, I think. Yeah, at, uh, nine yeah, o'clock, late time. Yep. So, so this will be wonderful. I get to catch up with some of my best and, and best looking friends, like Latitude. I'm, I'm just right. telling you that. Oh, right? oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Michelle and Tom, we'll get back to uh, what we were talking about. You guys, uh, we'll, we can't ex- wait for you to be at Flocking. Of course, you have a brand new CD called Life in a Beach Town, which is uh, terrific, by the way. Thank you. I love Come Aboard. We just played that a minute ago. Great song. Oh, thank you. So you guys, have been, you guys have been busy, man. You've been all over the place, right? Super busy, but we took most of May off because, yeah, from here on out, it gets crazy, which is, you know, it's summer. That's what we do. Right, of course, of course. And uh, you still have the home base. You're in Myrtle Beach tonight, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Our home base. And you guys uh, do that, and then you you have uh, cruises and so forth and so yeah, on. Yeah, well, actually, this year we're, we're taking our group to Charleston, South Carolina. So we're going to be in Charleston uh, in June with our group. So we, we decided, hey, you know, enough of that. We're going to take you all to where we live so you can enjoy what we love about living here. Excellent. So I'm glad to go to Charleston. That's beautiful. Excellent. All right. Yeah. Are you, uh, when you come to Putin Bay, are you guys going to uh, hang for the weekend? Or are you going to be, let's see, you're there Friday and Saturday night. I know that, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So okay. we're, yeah, I mean, we're there for the weekend for real. We're going to catch up with everybody. And if you don't have to get back too fast, on Sunday morning at 11 ish, we're going to have a singer songwriter okay. session. One last time. So Yeah, well, I know, I know. Thing is, yeah, we're playing Tuesday back at home. So I don't know if we'll be okay. able to do that, but we'll, we'll give it our best shot. Okay. Yeah. So uh, we met you guys so many years ago on the cruise, and we've seen you in Key West, and it's been a long journey. And this is, in in a way, it's uh, bittersweet that this is the final flocking, but at the same time, we're we're excited because I think we're going to go out with a special one. I think. Oh, I think so. I think so. I mean, I was thinking about the first years we've been up there and the memories and all. The- fun things that have happened and great people we have met. I mean, there's a lot of people we, we met up there that we, you know, have, have friendships now with. You know, I think uh, Katie Moore was one of them. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. So many of these yeah. folks that, that we met. Well, this is one of the first, like you said, this is one of the first places we've ever played outside of our home yeah. base. So, you know, uh, the Atlanta Cruise and you guys up there in Putin Bay were the very first ventures out. And I guess it didn't scare us too bad, so we just kept coming back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Katie Moore is coming out of retirement for this. I he, know. Isn't that great? He's yeah. going to do it's it so one awesome. more time. I asked him, I said, have you rehearsed for this? He says, yeah, he said, I might have to pick up the guitar here uh, <laughs> next week or so. <laughs> so but, that, but, that's not, but that just goes to show you how much that, that event means to all of us. Yeah. I, it really does. I think it's going to be a fun one. It's going to be a lot of fun to see. Uh, it's going to be a reunion, really, of a, of a lot of us. So, yeah. So, Tom, uh, the John Denver tribute is something you do on the side. If you, you're still doing that uh, extensively, we are, yeah, we are still doing that. We just um, every once in a while we get to do it with uh, orchestras, you know, symphonies, and nice. uh, we did that in back in November. We did a symphony show uh, in Sarasota, and um, and we're looking to possibly. Um, do it down in Key West at Meeting of the Minds, maybe. Well, not with a symphony, obviously, but yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going down there this year. Okay, yeah. So stay so. tuned for that. Oh, you are. Yeah. So, yeah. So stay tuned for that because I think we're going to be doing John Denver at uh, yeah at Meeting of the Minds. Yeah. You don't How know. How cool is that? You don't. That's a very cool. You don't know the venue uh, just yet. Uh, the venue, I think, uh, it's going to be the Saint uh Theater. 
Which one? The San Carlos. Oh yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the one. Um, yeah, uh, we've got some details that'll be, you know, officially announced yeah. pretty soon. Yeah, we're working so, all that out, but it's going to be an all-star band, so it's going to be tremendous. I know John Reno's doing his uh, Croce show down there as yeah. well. Yeah. Do you mean the most? Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, Parrot Heads are music music fans. They love singer songwriters. Oh yeah. So it's a perfect fit, really. Absolutely. LatitudeMusic.net, do I got the website right? Yep. Excellent. You guys have won all kinds of great awards over the years, uh, Duo of the Year, and uh, I, can't, I can't name them all, but I know you guys have, have got some uh, hardware, as they say. Yeah, I'm Michelle, the female vocalist uh, of the year, uh, uh, a number of years running, uh, and um, yeah, it's been, we've been really blessed, you know, with, with, with people that really love our music, and, uh, and then, you know, also down in Key West, we do a, a Wacky Parrot uh, Sunset Cruise, we've been doing that, my gosh. Over 10 years, I think we've been I think doing 13 that. 13 years, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, it, it's just a trust. We, we look at this and we, we just continue to be amazed that we get to, first of all, that we get to play music together. Secondly, that anybody likes it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, <laughs> and, and the adventures that we've had and the people that we've met because of doing something that, that we love to do, um, I don't know. I just I don't know that it could be any better, really. Well, it's really very entertaining show the uh, songs are great and one of the bits i'm going to request this bit if i can uh that tom used to do was he'd throw a, a big thing in his mouth of uh paper towels oh. and he would do michael mcdonald are you, are you gonna are you gonna do that one <laughs> you know what for you for you dk this i will do it in putting bay i will do that for bring you. it back <laughs> I will bring it. But you know what that is the thing you know big time of napkins come up we, we know what that means Okay. Hey Tom, are you gonna are you gonna have to practice like KD? Is gonna be <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm gonna have to practice that. You know. <laughs> no. On the drive oh up, God. you can. My, you know. my impressions get me in trouble. There you go. All right. Well, I I'm glad we got to uh, touch base with you guys before this happens. Uh, a week from Thursday, it all begins, and uh, we'll see you guys on Friday night, right? Yes, yeah, I can't, can't wait. wait. Thanks for having us on the show, DK. Absolutely. Hey, Bob. Hey, you guys. I miss you big time. Michelle and Tom Becker. Same here, my friend. Michelle and Tom Becker. The new CD is called Life in a Beach Town, LatitudeMusic.net. And they will be at Putin Bay as well as many other places all over the place, including uh, Myrtle Beach, of course. Fin's up to you guys. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right. We'll talk to you at Putin Bay. See you in a couple weeks. All right. All right, Michelle and Tom Becker on Island Time tonight. Let's do uh, the title track from this new CD, Life in a Beach Town. And look in front of me, we got Bob Banerjee for crying out loud in the studio. So we got lots to talk about. And Bob's going to play. This it's, should be fun. I didn't even have to pass a TSA check to get here. <laughs> Very easy to get into. Very easy to get Very into easy. as long as you know who to talk it's to. Just as long as you <laughs> talk to me. There, there we go. All right, let's do it. Latitude on Island Time. The sun goes down Life in a beach town The tide rolls in The tide rolls out It's not much to write about But it's all I need Life in a beach town What you get is what you see you like their own folks in a beach town when times are tough you're not alone no one here is a stranger just a friend we yet to meet folks in a beach town what you get is what you see Lord. 
you get is what you see. Life in a beach town, what you get is what you need. Ooh. Riding out a thunderstorm, bolts of lightning taking form. But this night can do no harm Cause we're safe from the rain I pull you closer next to me A blanket full of ecstasy Cranking out the body Like the heart's eternal flame If we can hold out Till tomorrow's light arrives The clouds of doubt will disappear Now wouldn't it be kind of funny 
If I made a little money Writing songs on this brand new tailor I'd take my first royalty check From this guitar around my neck And I'd buy me an old nasty beat-up whaler I'd fix it up I'd make it shine We'd go up and down the shore In island time Cause his beach life Feels just right Yeah, this beach life Feels just right Oh, this beach life Feels just right To me Rang. It's my boss. I'm late for a meeting. He's pretty pissed off. And on line three, that's my wife. We got a 7:30 PTA meeting tonight. And this beach life feels just right. Oh, this beach life. Feels just right. I said this beats life. Feels just right, but not tonight. That is Beach Life from Don Middlebrook uh, and the Pearl Divers from the Key West Connection CD. Don is playing Flocking of the Faithful, also the final Flocking at Puddin Bay, and he will be there on let's see, three o'clock on Friday. Afternoon, another welcome party. There's going to be a raffle at that show. And then Don will show up again Saturday with Katie Moore at about 1 o'clock. And we have on the telephone from East Lansing, Michigan, it is Don Metalbrook, Mr. Trap Rock himself. How are you doing, Don? Good, Dennis. How are you, buddy? Doing great. Say hello to my in Happy stu- Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day to you. Say hello to my in studio uh, co host tonight, Bob Banerjee's with us. Hey, Don, I wanted to hey, be, Bob. you know, I got a face for radio, man. <laughs> I know. How are I, you? I'm already looking forward to hearing your uh, your fiddle. Oh my goodness! I, I haven't even started to think about it. Should be good You're if we good could. Uh, well, no, no, man. I just have great friends, and uh, you are one of the more talented ones of those. So, looking forward to see what you're doing this summer. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna play. I can't wait. Excellent. Play and party. That's what the <laughs> that's what the gonna be all about, and. Uh, Kaylee's are back, so I'm just happy to, happy to be a part of it. Isn't that wonderful? Like old times. Yeah. 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 It's going to be a bit of a reunion, and Katie Moore is coming out of retirement. He's going to play a show with you, Don. That'll be fun. Good. That's exciting. I don't know if you've uh, been checking out our playlist in the last couple of weeks, Don, but I've been having a little fun with your catalog. I went back into the early albums, 94, 1994, 96. Oh, my God. And uh, played a couple tracks. And uh, it was a lot of fun. I mean, they're, they're they're good. Is that everything okay, Bob? Okay, he's he's stepping out. Uh, yeah, I I can hear what eventually your sound became. You know, it was kind of in the beginning, but you could hear what the potential there. Oh wow, it's development. It's always development, man. Yeah, and got uh, all the way to Guitar Island. So you've you've got so many albums at this point. The latest one is an EP, uh, the Mexico. Beach Road Trip, which we've talked about before. Uh, right. Great, great music. But uh, So what's been going on with you? What, what's the plan? Well, I'm just traveling, playing. I'm working on a new album. Um, probably have it out by the fall. And uh, I just warmed up Jay Leno, and I just got offered to go to Oakland, California and do another Jay Leno show. Really? So, Damn. yeah. That was in Michigan that so, you, you opened for him? We did, yeah. I was pretty interested, and we played in Holland at the Tulip Festival. And uh, they pulled me aside and said, uh, you want to do another Jay Leno show? And I go, yeah, well, where's he playing in Michigan? And they said, well, we're going to fly you out to Oakland, California. Nice. Now, I'm kind of still waiting for the paperwork, but, um, you know, one Jay Leno is, is, was more than I expected anyway. So That's awesome. <laughs> if I get two, I'll be, uh, I'll be shocked. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. awesome. Never know what that could lead to. Excellent. Yeah, never know. That was fun. It was really a lot of fun. Well, you're one of the longest-running uh, trap rockers out there, like I said, and uh, you got a great catalog of music, and you, you are well-known in the trap rock world all over the country. You play the big events, uh, Music on the Bay, Meeting the Minds, and so forth. What uh, big ones outside of Flocking, what do you got planned this summer? 
Uh, let's see. I'm going over to uh, the Ozarks for Colleen Fuchs. Okay. And we're doing a big gig in August. Uh, that's on my website, I think. Maybe we'll have it up this week. And then uh, I always go to Wisconsin for one. I've got a gig in Warsaw, Indiana. Um, gosh, it's hard for me to think of where I'm going to be going. I know in the fall, it looks like we got a big trip up to northern Michigan. If I go to Oakland with the Jay Leno thing, and then it's off to uh, Florida for the winter again. And, of course, the Meet of the Mines. And I'll be down there with Doyle and John Patty. So... A lot of good things going, and I'm, I'm cooking up some new music of the new CD. So I'll have that out in uh, no, later, no later than September, hopefully. You and were, then, uh, you know, we just keep keep busting, man. You did a, a, a brand new song when we saw you at Music on the Bay, which is going to be on that album, right? Yes, it's called Jumpstart. It's about Music on the Bay. That's right, uh, We've yes. got all that done. I just got Doyle's part done, and I got to do some vocals yet and master it. And there's another song I'm really excited about that I'm working on about Canada. There's a little beach town up there called Port Stanley. Uh, the Parrotheads hired me at St. Thomas to play. And like a yo-yo, I'd forgotten all about the Internet changes with a new country. And I lost my phone. I lost my GPS. And, of course, was uh, back to the almost the 70s. And I <laughs> had a day off, and I noticed this wonderful little creek moving towards the south which I knew was Lake Erie. And I said to myself, you know what? If that thing turns into a bigger river, then you're going to have a port. And if you get a port, you get a boat. If you get a boat, you get a bar. And I followed my way all the way down Kettle Creek to Port Stanley, and I wrote a song about it. Wow. And the great news about this is because of the great friends I got, like Lisa Burke and Kenny Burke, they introduced me to the lead guitar player, Steppenwolf. Wow. Michael Monarch, and he played lead on that guitar for that song and uh, the irony even there is he's from Cal or Florida and California but the original Steppenwolf guys he played with are all from Canada Okay. so it's kind of a win-win Canada thing and uh, that's called Kettle Creek and I really like the song a lot and he plays this monster guitar on the front end and uh, that'll be on the new CD too so beautiful do you have a title yet or no for the new one you know I don't quite yet um, there's a song about about Miami called Luna and there's the there's the Canada song and then there's the Jumpstart maybe Jumpstart will be the, the the title track we're gonna have to play around a little bit but I got a few more yet to write I'm working on one with the Barefoot Reggie that's uh, called Play Me Something Warm really okay which is not quite done so I got okay. another six seven weeks of work in the studio before I can really come to grips with it but Jumpstart might be a good name for it we'll that's dedicate cool. it to Lisa and and Kenny Burke, and of course the wonderful music on the bay. Excellent! It's a great event. We will be there again next year. Uh, yeah. Are you going to hang out for the whole weekend of Flocking of the Faithful? I will be there Friday, Saturday for sure. I got to go out Sunday, Excellent. so I'll come in Thursday. Well, uh, Bob's band's playing Saturday night at Real Bar, so swing. you got you got an open space, man, all the time. <laughs> Is this what night? What night are you there? Saturday night. Saturday night. Okay, and I guess the housing situation is such that. All those Baltimore girls are back, so that could be, yeah. you know, just... That, that always <laughs> makes it an interesting thing, doesn't it? We love the Baltimore it girls. Could be, it could be uh, a highlight or a disaster. <laughs> you know, that's why they make park benches, man. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to it, and I'll definitely be at the Real Bar to see you there, Bob, on Saturday. Uh, Don, it's so great to, to be talking to you. You're a, you are a musical legend in the trop rock field. I'm so yeah, glad I, to I just love what I do, and I've been doing it a long time. I think... Jerry Diaz is, uh, and Sonny Jim are, are two of the guys who have probably been doing as long as I have. But Well, here's know, a good I, thing. You guys are all good looking, and I don't owe money to any of you. So that's <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just see if we keep hanging in there. That's the key. Guaranteed. When they build the Trap Rock Hall of Fame, uh, Don and those guys will be the first inductees. Of course. That's, uh, what, I'm, that's what I'm thinking. I'll so be here with uh, garlands garlands, and, and, uh, <laughs> and empty beer cans to throw. You know, that's <laughs> there you go. Yeah. DonMetalbrook.net is the uh, website, and uh, I'm going to play uh, a couple more of your tunes here, Don, but thanks so much for uh, checking in. Hey, right, guys, take care and go Tribe. I hate to say that so early, but the Tigers are, are look like they're on the, the road to, you know, the cellar, so. Well, so are we, so we're right there well, with us. Well, <laughs> you, somebody's got to catch the Twins, we can't. I don't know, it's not looking good this year, Don, but we'll, we'll uh, know, you guys. Like twins and nobody. You yeah. know, even, even 
the Pirates of the Caribbean are scoring more than our Pirates are. Okay. So. Well, oh, my God. We're all three on the same boat. There you go. I know. It's a sad yeah. case of baseball this year. Sad season. <laughs> all right, uh, Don, looking forward to seeing you at, at Puddin' Bay. Bye, See Don. You Puddin Bay. See you Don. Thank you. See you, Bob. Take care. Talk soon. Bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. Don, bye-bye. Don, Don Middlebrook, the man himself. This is from the new EP, I Wish I Was an Island. Bob Banerjee's with us. We'll talk to him a little bit Wee-hoo. further here, and he's going <laughs> to pull out the guitar. We'll talk. I wish I was an island. Maybe you would visit me. Maybe a palm tree would jog your memory. Cause your knees get weak when you see a beach. And your heart beats fast when you see water and sand. I know it's something you can't resist. So I wish I was an island. Maybe you would visit me. Yeah, I wish I was an island. Maybe you would visit me. Though you can't turn down a frozen daiquiri And your knees get weak When you walk on the beach And your heart beats fast When your skin gets dead I know it's something you can't resist So I wish I was not Maybe you would visit me Do you remember we met at the school the shack You let me touch this And you let me touch that You taught me how to die I felt so high And out of the blue You said goodbye Oh, I Oh, I wish I was an island Maybe you would visit me Maybe a palm tree Jog your memory Cause your knees get weak When you walk on a beach And your heart beats fast When your skin gets dead And I know It's something you can't resist So I wish I was not Maybe you would visit me I wish I was not Maybe you would visit me Maybe a palm tree would jog your memory I wish I was an island Maybe you would visit me I know you can't turn down a frozen daiquiri I wish I was an island I wish I was an island I wish I was an island. I wish I was an island. I wish I was an island. Greetings from Putin Bay. This is Bob Gatewood from the Calabash Band. I'm here with DK on the Island Time Radio Show, WBWC.
From Putin Bay, Ohio, that is Bob Gatewood, going back a few years ago to uh, an album called Finally Home, and that is Gotta Go. Great, great stuff right there. We also had uh, Don Middlebrook in there with I Wish I Was an Island. Thanks to Don for checking in Island Time tonight. He will be at Flocking of the Faithful, like we mentioned. Can't wait. We got yeah. Bob Banerjee in the house for crying out loud. How fun is this? Hola, como esta? That's how they talk in India. <laughs> well, there you go. There you go. I'm going to play a little less Baxter behind us as we get ready for the news. We got a couple of reminders for you. Bob's going to play live. We're going to explain why you're in town because you yeah. did all kinds of fun surprise things oh, all weekend long. Indeed, I did. Indeed and we got to talk about that. Bob is a man of mystery and surprise this weekend. <laughs> I had no idea I had an in-studio guest until I pulled in the driveway today. <laughs> How fun is this? I texted Dennis and I said, uh, you know, <laughs> you know, I just happen to have stayed over another day. <laughs> okay. So originally you were going back today? I was. Okay, I was. really? I, I was okay. actually going to, okay. I didn't even know whether I was going to stay for, for like, like Sunday. But uh, All right. uh, for those of you that know me, um, you probably know about my wife. And I'm very happy to tell you that she's doing very well. And uh, I, that allows me to kind of concentrate on getting uh, a little bit of my energy back, my okay. mojo. Okay. So I'm getting my mojo back by going out and seeing friends. This was a very, very seat of the pants thing. Yeah. I, I literally pointed the car north and I said, take me someplace. And it led me to Cleveland. Because <laughs> I was like, man, they didn't promote this show. No, like, no, much. Was, I thought, wait a second. I, I literally, on my way here, I... Uh, we all know uh, our good friend from, from the uh, North Coast here, Christine Jackson, and uh, I, I texted KJ to find out what she was playing, fully intending to show up at the bar and just uh, kind of have a couple of drinks and listen to a good friend um, and her awesome, awesome talent. And look what happened. I got dragged into playing some music. Gee, you know, the one arm went up behind the back, the other arm went behind the back. <laughs> I love it. I <laughs> so love it. we had a great time with that. All right, Bob, we will talk a little bit more about this. You're going to play live for us? I am. I have no idea what I'm going to do, but nonetheless. It'll be fun. It'll It'll be be spontaneous, just like everything else. Got my toes at the edge of the ocean Where the salt meets the sand I'll walk at low tide to clear my mind of all of life's demands. A little turf war going on in the surf. Those sand crabs have got me thinking that on another beach at another time, heroes stood their ground and died. The water since washed their blood away, but it came. Why? 
Sirens are going off. I tell uh, you gotta go my rides here. <laughs> <laughs> tell you what. That is the lovely Allie Market. She uh, plays at Puddin' Bay, at the Mojito Bay pretty often. But I think this year she's playing like on Tuesday before none of us get there, oh, boo. sadly. But uh, she normally is playing there, so maybe the schedule's changed. I don't know. But uh, that's her Gretchen Wilson cover here for the party. And before that, we had Brenda Kay from the brand new uh, EP called Angler Management. I love the lyrics. That was about as Memorial Day as you could do. Yeah. I that thought was that was wonderful. appropriate for today. It's called Another Beach. It's a beach song, but uh, with a lot more meaning if you listen to the lyrics. And uh, that is brand new from Brenda. And it's all tonight on the Island Time Show. we got Bob Banerjee in the house for crying out loud. Do you believe this? Totally spontaneous. Hi-ho, fillers. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to find out what you did all weekend. And then you're going to play Absolutely. something. We're, I... we're going to pull something out of yeah, our hands. Unlike other times. <laughs> <laughs> On Island Time tonight, it is the Island Time Radio Show on the Sting WBWC. Hope everybody had a great Memorial Day weekend. We have in the house one of the Puddin' Bay performers for Flagging the Faithful 2019, the very final one. I can't believe this. I know. I'm so sad. But at the same time, Patty and Dan can't thank you enough for, for taking enough Xanax to make this happen. I, guess. I think, I I think Pat and Dan gave... Uh, well of uh, themselves and their time over the years. Not meaning to demean our, our, our men that we lost in military service on Memorial Day, but I'm telling you what, these guys, Patty and Dan, have, have given equal amount of blood, I'm sure, yeah, to try over the years. Over the years, but I would... Uh, Trying well, we'll, we'll, to, to arrange all the bands, uh, you know, setting up the registration. It's, it's a lot of work. We... we, we you know, they've taken the last several years off, and, and we tried to throw it together, me and Ray Fogg and... Oh, it's difficult, it's, isn't it's it? It's not easy, yeah. No, no, no. So kudos to uh, to having our 25th flocking like this. This is amazing. It's fantastic, and it is the final one. So next year, I don't know what we're going to do. We're just going to have to find each other somehow at Puddin' Bay. <laughs> now, you guys are going to play Saturday night. You and jo are. John McCann. Yep. Corned beef and curry. Mm -hmm. and but the festivities, I know, start earlier. So, you know, there are other worthwhile people that are going to be out there what uh <laughs> worthwhile people what uh day do you guys arrive we're going to be coming in actually on saturday morning because uh saturday okay yeah we have a um what, what's a, the polite way we're indisposed on friday so okay we'll be back on saturday to to make sure that we hit the ground running but you might uh there's a jam band from 7 to nine thirty at ed's are you guys going to jump oh, in i'll there? be here by then jump oh in there? yeah okay Patty Kaylee told me to, to set my alarms for that, so I, I just I texted her back that yes, Alexa set my alarm for. <laughs> we we saw you at Music on the Bay in in February, but something you know, the crazy what something happened. You got sick on the way down there. I did. Can you that was a that? that really <gasps> turned out different than we planned. <laughs> yeah, for those of you that know me, I'm so shy and introverted, and uh, yeah. you know, <laughs> no food poisoning. It was. Oh, food was food poisoning. poisoning. Was it on the was. plane? It was. Wow. It was. So that's what, it was just wicked bad. But uh, it's the last time that uh, that I, I eat one of those gargantuan Arby's burgers or whatever uh -oh. it was. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They're not a sponsor or anything. No. Either. Okay. That's good. <laughs> we don't have commercials. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? But this weekend now, you spontaneously came up here to Cleveland. I did. And played with Christine Jackson, right? Yeah. I have pictures to show for all these kind of things. I'm not, you know, I didn't take any selfies or anything, but I think that uh, that they posted a couple of things of uh, Christine and I playing. Um, oh my gosh, it was um, the it harp was, on Saturday. the harp on on Saturday, Saturday, right? And then we were supposed to play um, out near uh, an RV convention thing that was supposed to go on in uh, is it Lake Lakewood? No, uh, Lakewood, Ohio, maybe. Yeah, uh, Mo no, Marble Marblehead. Marble. Yeah, that's more okay. like it. Marblehead. Okay. Sorry, we're. Yeah, Lakewood's close by. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. learning Cleveland geography yeah, this sure. weekend. This is good. Sure. Um, so, no, what, what was really cool is we went um, we went down to Brothers instead. Brothers Lounge. Okay. Yeah, All where right. um, you had uh, the piano guy, the Cleveland piano guy, uh, Mike Patron was there. Okay. And uh, KJ, uh, for those of you that don't know it, is... Uh, kind of married to him so oh know? really yeah okay. so i don't know whether i'm giving away secrets here but okay. um all i all i will tell you is it was phenomenal just being up on stage and and uh jamming along with like everybody you, you know anybody that knows me knows that i should be wearing a t-shirt that says jam slut on it <laughs> right 
So you'll, you'll play with, it doesn't matter what style of music. Nope. You're there. Has musical notes, will travel. That's awesome. And Christine, as you know, has uh, really breaking out in the trap rock world. Oh, I am so glad she's being recognized for, for that awesome, bluesy, silky voice that she has. She is just, oh. But she also is fun when she's got some of the, uh, the upbeat stuff that she does. And she's really, really taken, taken to the trap rock folks very much. Once again, the music doesn't necessarily have to be a certain style. Her style is mainly blues, mm -hmm. but she became a boater in recent years, and she started taking these trips to Florida, and she started yeah. getting a taste of the whole tropical, uh, trap rock lifestyle. And now she's all over the place, music on right. the bay and, uh, you know, meeting the minds and so forth. So you guys jammed together. I saw a couple videos. It, it was very cool, very cool. Again, nobody knew that I was coming up here. I didn't, you know, far be it from me not to have a violin in my car, even though <laughs> I will tell you a secret. I played a gig where I had to drive an hour north of Pittsburgh, got to the gig and said, oh, crap, I left my violin in the living room. Oh, boy. <laughs> Okay. So they went. The the guy that was running the show actually had to send his son back to his house to grab a mandolin, and I played mandolin all night oh, instead. Okay. So I noticed that, that we you weren't doing that. the uh, right. harp. Okay. Oh yes, it's and a sad thing when you turn to be my age. <laughs> now, was the brothers' lounge? Uh, did you play, or did you just sit I did, in? No, no. Well, I I sat in, but I also did. I did beer me there. Really? I got the whole crowd singing <laughs> beer me. Yay! Okay. And then uh, I played just a truckload of stuff. I did I Love Love from my, my foreign country CD, so they were singing along with that. And uh, what else did I do? I played a whole bunch of bluesy stuff with Christine and and also just there were there were a number of great Cleveland talented people that just it was kind of like an open stage but not because we had a band behind. Uh, very, very, very enjoyable. And Excellent. again, you know, people always talk about the feud between Pittsburgh and Cleveland, yeah. and, and it should be a healthy rivalry always. But I'm telling you what, I was so impressed with uh, Michelle Jennings took me all around the city today, yeah. and and last night. So I had a chance to look at your Playhouse District. I had a chance to look at, uh, 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 oh my gosh, that was like Little Broadway. That was phenomenal. Yeah. And today we yeah. went through. I, I saw that the Christmas Story House. <laughs> oh, did you go inside? <laughs> Didn't go inside. Just okay. took pictures because okay. I was afraid of being hit by a, a, a leg lamp, but, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and being having my eye shot out with a red rider. Uh, and then there's the brewery district with all yeah. the breweries. We went back to the Flatiron where we first oh, wow. met. So okay. that was a very interesting, okay. interesting way to to redo that and the right. river walk and all. Oh, right. I love your city. It was uh, today. Could not have been a brighter, better day. I took right. just a truckload of pictures. You know, Perfect so day to do day. that. Yeah. Uh, there, there was that great big stone thing. I don't know. You know what I'm talking about? There's no. this. Uh, <laughs> hang on. I, I don't. Uh, I'm going to have to show me. For, for those of you that are on radio. <laughs> yeah, right. We'll show this picture to you. Yeah, we'll show you this picture. But, I'll, um, yeah, I'll but she showed you around. You got around. And I saw yeah. you, you saw the Cleveland, Cleveland sign and all that good stuff. And I did go to, was it Lakewood Cemetery? Oh, Lakeview. Lakeview, Lakeview Cemetery. Alan Freed is buried there. Yeah, I, I took pictures of Alan yeah, Freed's yeah, yeah. Um, tombstone. That was uh, that was awesome. And Elliot Ness. Elliot know, Ness. Just right across the corner from him. And these days, Elliot has a great beer at Great Lakes Brewery called Elliot Ness. And I took a picture of yeah. Great Lakes Beer oh, okay. <laughs> Brewery. Okay. Lest it not be said that I don't want the full history of Cleveland. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. So, Excellent. Absolutely so, incredible uh, time. All right. Do you want to play a song live for us here on the yeah, show? Yeah, I, I hope, you know, most people know me as very happy-go-lucky, and uh, I don't want to ruin that vibe. But at the same time, um, I, I did know that, uh, you know, classical music means a lot to me. And uh, I want to play something for Memorial Day. Okay. Let me, let me throw the mic yeah. over here. How do you want to do so this? So we can uh, hear everything. There we yep. go. This is like live violin, so. Yeah. By the way, you, you uh, with the surprise visit, I don't even have beer me with me tonight, <laughs> so we can't well, play that. It just so happens that I saw a foreign country CD in there. I do so. have this. Uh, I do have this. Well, yes. I was gonna I was gonna do beer me on the violin, but I thought, God, how lame would that be? And well, I, I do oh, have yeah. live Irish Irish. Oh, that would be a good one. To, the to new corned beef and curry, curry yep. CD. So let's right. see if I can play something in honor uh, of the men and women that we've lost. Um, defending our freedoms, and, uh, and and this is important to me as a American from another country. Right. Um, you know, I, I became a citizen when I was 21. And, really? Okay. Um, 
So originally from India, you know, uh, I've always valued, and my my father. I, I never knew that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. You thought I was Puerto Rican all Puerto this time. Puerto Rican this whole time. <laughs> see. So. <laughs> so there you go. All right. So all right. Let's see what I'm gonna let uh, Bob take the stage on Island Time tonight. about the squeaks that's live that's the humidity that's power outages in the uh in the cleveland area we didn't get the backup band in tonight so it's it's just a little uh violin solo yeah so i'm sorry that i didn't have more to give you there so that's no that's awesome (laughs) that's awesome we could do at least one or two more of these later you you know what i'll I'll play something more upbeat but i thought that it was only fitting to to no absolutely perfect absolutely great great uh thought and sentiment all right we're going to take a, uh, we're, you and I are going to take a little break because mm-hmm. we're going to go down to Key West, Florida, and uh, we're going to get tonight's beer chat here in a second. Hallelujah. But in the meantime, that's coming up here in a moment. But right now, let's do uh, uh, Jerry Diaz and Hannah's Reef. Jerry is coming to Flocky. Yes, he is. Good. Another, another stalwart of the trop rock genre. You guys know each other? Very much. And he does a song that we kind of play a little bit here at, sh- at the show. It's called Island Time. I've never. Well, yes. In fact, <laughs> in fact, it's part of our open. If you listen it to the is, show, with Eddie regular. Yeah, Here it is, the whole version from Hannah's Reef. Jerry Diaz. He's going to be at Flocking. Mm-hmm. He is going to do the opening toast at three thirty on Thursday afternoon, at Mr. Ed's. And by the way, you probably know this too. Christine Jackson's going to play real Thursday bar night. Yeah. Thursday night. So yeah. it's going to be an action-packed uh, first day. This is uh, Hannah's Reef.
That is Hannah's Reef with Island Time tonight Ooh. on Island Time. We're going to go. Cherry. There we go. We're, Bob, we're going to go down to Key West, Florida. And we're not doing it live tonight. They recorded it over the weekend. In fact, they, they posted pictures of them doing <laughs> doing the beer chat. Um, Chris and Danny and some friends down in uh, Key West, Florida. And it's tonight on the Island Time radio show. Enjoy. It's time for beer chat. That's where it's at. It's time for beer chat. Uh, that's where we dad. You got your Pilsner and your Lager and your Belgian Ale. You got your Porter and your Lambic and your Wheat and Pale Ale. You got your Double and your Triple IPA and your Stout. Chris Reed will tell you what it's all about. You got your Dark Beer and your Light Beer and your Amber too. Now that you know just what you gonna do, belly up to the bar and order a beer. Chris will help you choose one for the entire year. It's time for beer chat. Uh, that's where it's at. It's time for beer, 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 chat. So what are we doing here? So this <laughs> is, sorry, um, audience here. Uh, so this is Funky Buddha's <laughs> Manhattan. Uh, this is their uh, double rye mixology series. This is uh, kind of a, a thing that they're doing, I guess. I have a question for you. Yes. They're, they're calling this the mixology thing. And I read an article probably about a year ago where they were asking bartenders, very sophisticated bartenders, they said, how do you like the term mixologist? And they said, no, I'm a bartender. Yes, I'm, I'm a barman. And you you um, yourself are an expertise, uh, expert at, at all. First at all and that. foremost, I'm a barman. Um, I absolutely oh. hate the term mixologist. I hate cocktail specialist. I hate everything. Um Cocktailologist. Uh, the, the, the phrase, the phrase I do, I do prefer is cocktailologist, and and my my profession is cocktailogy. Um, that being said, uh, I, I do I do prefer actually just being called a barman or bar person or whatever bartender. Um, the reality of the situation it really comes down to this. I mean, nowadays everyone needs a new name. We don't. We're an old school profession. Okay. We're uh, one of the oldest ones. Um, of course. Indeed, yeah. There is an older one, but we won't talk about that. Well, yeah. But, but uh, yeah, we, we are one of the oldest professions in the world. We are the Excellent. sellers of booze and beers and wines and 
all kinds all sorts of crazy of spirits stuff. and fun. Well, this is a this is a, a cocktail inspired beer, barrel aged. Um, it has a really cool logo thing. Well, you know, design on the front. It has a, a like a Manhattan shaped glass with Manhattan, and there's the Statue of Liberty dipping her legs in the Manhattan. <laughs> and uh, there's a, you know a cherry there. It says double rye on it. It's kind of cool. And there's a little taxi cab running around the oh, bottom there. There's a little skosh left in the bottom for anybody I, I, who wants to I would to wear skosh. that as a t-shirt. Yeah, I would. I would wear that as a t-shirt. That's totally an awesome t-shirt. Yeah, possibly yeah, yeah, as artistic. a tattoo. Throwing it out there. Now, guys. Um, what do you think? As the conctologist from the, the crew here, I'm, I'm going to say that this is not a bad beer. Is it a Manhattan? No. Uh, a beer. It's a beer. <laughs> it's not a cocktail. I'm, I'm like, I kind of just... I wonder if like they were going for the Manhattan because uh, you know I'm not feeling oh yeah. get the drips out <laughs> and and I'll, I wonder if they they were I mean like the color is right but the, the color's right the, yeah. the flavor profile is not correct well, I had several Manhattans the other night so I can tell you <laughs> did you have a Manhattan or did the man have you I rode around in a taxi for a long time. Her favorite drink is probably a Manhattan. <laughs> right, no, I, 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 for some reason, I, I've just been drawn to Manhattans as a cocktail. So. Well, really, I was going to say they, they say they say that you're attracted to women that are like your mother. My mother's favorite drink was a Manhattan too. That scares oh, that's me. Weird. <laughs> because he's he's older than I am. <laughs> All right. Oh, year or two. So, beer two. <laughs> beer two. I haven't finished beer one yet. Finished beer one. By the way, Jacqueline has had jaw surgery, so that's why she sounds that way. A little muffled. Muffled. Turn to my charm. What's our okay. next? What's our next? And we, we also have guests. We haven't mentioned we have guests here. Uh, Marcus. <laughs> Dina. And Dina. Yep. Dina came all the way from Germany just to be <laughs> in the audience on this show. She flew in today and she's leaving tomorrow. So we have to we have to say wunderbar und vielen Dank. Yes. Yeah. Uh, vielen Dank. All right. So guys, uh, this is the. Um, uh, Windsor, California, Santa Rosa. Uh, this is the Blind Pig. Uh, this is a double IPA from Russian River Valley uh, Brewery. These guys uh, make some other beers that are Yeah, we've had their beers before. Yeah, yeah. they're very, very um, good. We have Pliny, the Younger and Elder, yes. yep. on the, on the yep. show. Um, and this is the Blind Pig from them. And this one has a uh, ABV of six point two five percent. It just for on their website they don't say uh, they don't give a, the hop rate. They just say medium. Yeah, I get that. It's a That's good hopping. medium hop. What's up? I feel that. Hopping. I'm gonna say it's a. But it's still plenty. Sixty-five. Sure. I do drink Seventy, <laughs> right around there. <laughs> yeah. Know. Apparently, I drank all the plenty. Mm -hmm. oh. Sorry, guys. No, it's not apparent. It's, the elder? It's actually real. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I drink. Which one did we have? We, we had one on the show, didn't we? We, we had Younger and the younger, uh, Elder. Okay. We had both. Yeah. I mentioned that the, the name of the beer is kind of curious. Uh, it's called the Blind Pig. During Prohibition, when you had a, um, a speakeasy, many of them were called the Blind, blind pig. pig. Now, Mark might know. I don't know why they called it the Blind Pig, but... They called it the blind pig, and Mark seems to have a lot of inner knowledge on <laughs> things like this, so he might have the answer. And if he's, if he doesn't, he'll make it up, and you'll believe him because he's believable. Uh, honestly, the reason why they called it the blind pig because it was the most preposterous name they could come up with. Um, but there were for, a lot of blind pigs across the country. Yeah, I mean, like the Turning reason why it was guy. is because a lot of them were actually held in the basement of butcher shops. It just. <laughs> No one's going to believe me anyway. No one's ever going to believe me anyway, so it doesn't matter. He actually invented it. No. Okay. I, it wouldn't surprise me at all if Mark, when he was in Brooklyn, worked in a former speakeasy. I mean, I owned a speakeasy. Well, there you go. Back in the 1990s. And, and actually, one, one of the people in our audience can vouch for that. Mark. Um, Mark. That, being, that being said... Um, Blind Pig was actually, um, a, a lot of times, um, the butcher shops, they would have basements that had coolers. And the coolers is where they kept the beer and the wine and, and the whatever. Oh, that so makes sense. sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a lot People of... People turned a blind eye to the... Yes. To the There's going on. Of, to the pigs. To the pigs. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of people that say different things about it. 
And the reality of the situation is no one really knows. Mm -hmm. I'm like, blind pig, I'm like, yeah, you can draw conclusions. Mm -hmm. uh, but, like, the fact that... It, it actually... It goes back to uh, the Chicago crime families, actually... Um, and Paying off the... Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> we can drink those beers. <laughs> How about that? Because this beer is pretty good. This is a pretty damn good beer. It's a nice IPA. The Who thing cares? about Marx is that, is that when he says when he tells you these stories, they sound and they could very well be so real. I mean, Google it. So real? It's real. So real. So real? So real. So real. So real. <laughs> so real, yeah. I wonder what it would say on the Urban Dictionary. Well, <laughs> I'll say this, is funny. that uh, I'm enjoying this beer. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. pretty good. Uh, it's a very nice IPA. Um, I, I honestly... Whoop, away paper. There we go. There we go. And you lift your glass and look what happens. Goodbye. Very Goodbye, nice paper. IPA. Um, it's breezy in Key West. Honestly, like, um, I don't think it's a double IPA. I'm like, for my standards? Yeah. But, it doesn't um, taste like a double IPA. Like I said, IPA. I'm thinking... They, they call it 6.5. That's not a double. Uh, Double's got to be more than 8. No, that would be a... Um, no, a double IPA is like more than 8%. Well, it, it, it would be a... Uh, well, Imperial Stout. I'm going to read this. Imperial. I'm going to read this. Okay, I'm going to read this. Right. I'm going to read this. Right. Read, this. Right. Gonna read, this. Right. read it. A blind pig <laughs> is a prohibition era term for speakeasy. Our very first brewery, which was named the Blind Pig Brewing Company, located in Temecula, California, um, it was here that we first fell in love with uh, uh, the IPA's hops, the Blind Pig IPA is a generous hop with hints of citrus, eh, woody, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. notes, and lingering bitterness? I mean, like, yeah, hops, lingering bitterness. What, what's wrong yeah, with yeah. you guys? And, um, and here, on, on the refrigerated and consumed best enjoyed by very rough. You know, and on their on their website, they just say it's medium bitterness. And like I say, I'm I'm going to peg it to be 65 to 70. Yeah, 65 to 70. I'm not above 80. No, it's, it's very. I mean, it's, it does hang on. It's not Pliny. No. Which is like, you're drinking a goddamn Christmas. Drink, right. Yeah. Which <laughs> I love. Don't get me wrong. Pliny the Piney. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's gone for the last. He's one. He's gone for another one. All right, the last one. The gods must be crazy. I love that movie. I I love that movie That's too. I love movie. both of the movies. Actually. I didn't see two of them. Oh I only yeah, saw no, the one. it's really Were there, insane. Is there a second it's one? Super stupid, super fun. Well, there's oh, there's a wild sour stupid. beer. It says. Wild and sour. Sour slash wild beer. So this is a collaboration from two of my friends. Um, one of them, uh, MI Brewing Company, and then the second one being um, uh, Barrel Monks. Barrel Monks is a collaborative effort with Belgian-style beers. This is a Belgian-style ale in its explanation. I'm very curious to what this would actually taste like. Uh, we've had this. It, it's been around... Probably in our house for And you've never had it. I've never had it. Cheers. 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 Prost. Cheers. 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 Salute. Salute. <laughs> Kippus. What's James cure? He always does. Ooh. Senior. What's his? Uh, the one we used to sign off on the show with. Um, oh, okay. I'm not there yet. Oh, it's. Right. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm hungry. Yeah. Let's get something to drink. All right. Ooh. Honestly, this tastes like Belgian beer. It is sour. Sour. Well. And, but I don't it think does, it's that sour. No, I mean, like, but you know, it's sour. Mm -hmm. This tastes like a wild ferment. Brettanomyces lactobacillus, uh, Predicosi, <laughs> Predicosi. I'm like, for the record, Jack finished Lund, with Merlot yes. grape must. When I was when I was young and Sprite, I I was Sprite. I Sprite. Sprite. <laughs> I, 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 is the word. I like Sprite. Give me another beer. Um, <laughs> but he's sprightly. Anyway, uh, all in. I think it's a pretty good beer. I think it's weird, but in a good way. In what way do you think it is weird? It is. It's not you? a wild ferment, but it tastes like it. It does taste kind of wild. I mean, they, 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 they call it wild. They say it's wild. They say they say it's wild. They say they say sour slash wild beer. Okay, maybe it is a wild ferment. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't say. Uh, I'm wild, not. Do Do we know? It's a collaboration. Do we know where it was brewed? I'm guessing uh, am I? It says re-fermented in neutral oak barrels. Yeah. With a blend of Britannomyces, Lactobacillus, and Pediococcus cultures for eight so months. So Pediococcus is like, and that's the wild yeast. Merlot grape must. Oh, is that what the, yeah? 
Well, so it's it's, well if they put it... Pediococcus is the wild. I mean, like, that's a fake wild. <laughs> so, Chris, wrap it up. So, we're going to wrap it up. We'd like to thank Jacqueline and Mark for inviting us over so we could do the two shows. <laughs> we'll, we'll edit them in and we have Dina and Marcus, Marcus. here, Woo! all the way from Germany and New York, just for <laughs> well, today. Pennsylvania, Westchester. Oh, Pennsylvania, excuse me. Close enough. Close. It's up there. No, wait, we had three fabulous beers. We had three fabulous beers. Funky Buddha, Russian River Valley, and MIA slash Got the Funk. Got the Funk. Oh, got still the funk. Is, there, is there like a dash? Oh, like? there's, there's actually some funk down in the bottom. Oh, I, I'm going to get all the swill. Yeah, well, the swill is the good part, man. So, cheers, awesome. everybody. Protein. Cheers. Protein. Beer chat. Key West Beer Tales. Cheers. Some of all beers. Some of all we're beers. We're drinking some of all beers. That's why we're here. That's right. right. Something. You know what? I'm hungry. Let's, let's, let's get let's something, something, something to drink. drink. That's right. Yes. Dave Sr. Dave Sr., bless Dave your Dave heart. Dave. Hi, this is Danny Hoy, and you're listening to Island Time Radio with DK the DJ. On 88.3 FM, WBWC, The Sting. Second job on weekends to save a little money for a getaway. She wants to go on a Caribbean cruise to hide away from her city blues. There's a woman on her iPhone listening to her ball scream. He keeps on talking, but her thoughts keep her walking along a beach on Cedar Key. I love it. That is Danny Hoy. We went back in the uh, early years of her recording. That was her first single from the first album, Tropical. And thank you to Danny and Chris and uh, Cowboy Mark and the rest of the 
gang at uh, Key West, Florida. They they posted pictures of them recording that over the weekend. So that was fun. They did that on Saturday. But uh, thank you guys for the beer chat tonight. Also, let's see what else did we have. I guess that was. I guess that's it. That's been it for a while. We had here for the party, Alley Market a while ago. Island time from Hannah's Reef, and we got Bob Bandage in the studio for crying out loud. And if you're ready, Bob, after this very quick break, we mm-hmm. will uh, have you play again. Yeah, let's see if I can play something that doesn't require squeaking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I love it. I never get I never get violent background sound, for the weather. This sound effects. <laughs> a chance of showers and thunderstorms under increasing cloudy skies overnight. <laughs> Lows around 62. Winds could gust as twenty as much as 21 miles per hour. Chance of precipitous 70%. Tuesday, showers and thunderstorms likely, mainly in the late afternoon, under mostly cloudy skies, with a high near 81. <laughs> Winds gusting as high as 29 miles per hour. Chance of precip on Tuesday is 60%. And then Tuesday night, we got showers and thunderstorms likely, early uh, under mostly cloudy skies, with a low around 59. Chance of precip is 60 and then Wednesday, showers and thunderstorms likely under cloudy skies with a high near 75, chance of precip 60. 65 degrees at last check in Berea tonight. On Island Time. And I think the low will be 62, so we're probably getting close to that. We have Bob Banerjee in the studio. I normally edit out the weather for our uh, <laughs> podcast, but I might leave that one in tonight. <laughs> i tell you what. Well, you know, we're, we're carrying on with uh, that wonderful thing that uh, during beer chat, it sounded like they were going through a thunderstorm. We didn't really. Yeah. I mean, that was that was awesome getting all of that stuff. But, you know, being an old guy, I, I felt I had to acquaint myself with where the restrooms are. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. that's, that's always in our plan, isn't it, Bob? <laughs> all right. We're going to uh, have Bob play another song here. And yeah, this is winging it big time. So, And then like after after that, yeah. after the midnight uh, break, we're going to do something new, and I'll, t- I'll tell you all about that, folks, in just a couple minutes. But right now, here we go. Bye, man. All right. Let's try to say something kind of tropical. Beethoven, Mozart, or Sears and Roebuck. <laughs> what was that, Bob? <laughs> I don't know. I just made it up on the spot. <laughs> it was beautiful. Thank you. And I put it on Facebook Live. How about, oh. that? How about that? So that other people can 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 turn it off just like I did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. An original on the spot. On the spot. On the spot. we got to think of a name for it. What was the name of that one? Uh, Berea. I, I like it. How about, how about power outage? <laughs> power outage. There we go. There we go. All right. We're, we're going to take a very, very quick break here. And uh, coming up next hour, we've got one more hour to go tonight. I'm starting a new feature. I just dreamed this up over the weekend. Yeah. All summer long, I'm going to do, probably at the top of the hour in the last hour of the show, I'm going to pick an artist. It could be a classic rock band or it could be a trop rock band 
whoever has put out live music. Okay. It could be a solo artist. Okay. But we're going to call it the mini summer concerts. And all summer long, I'm going to pick a different act each and every week. We're going to play like three or four live songs. Love it. So I'm starting it out. It's the unofficial beginning of summer, and it's it's Beach Boys summer season. Yes. So I'm going to do the Beach Boys tonight. Wonderful. Nothing and, says summer like Beach Boys. That you is know, it. A lot of people have been talking about Live Aid, you know, because of the Queen movie and everything. Yeah. And the Beach Boys played Live Aid, and a lot of people don't, don't remember that. And I have the entire set. It's only three songs, but wow. and I'm throwing one extra song in for the heck of it. But uh, we're going to do that after the uh, break here. Can't wait. That's good. For tonight's very first mini concert. We're going to do this all summer on Island Time. Excellent. Okay. i got to go back and roll the top down on the convertible before we do that. <laughs> I love it. The Trap Rock continues here at Island Time on WBWC Berea.
This next one's dedicated for all of us, to all of you everywhere.
I don't know how many people were in that crowd at Philadelphia, but that was Live Aid. That was a huge audience. I, I completely forgot that they were on that show. Yeah. It was early in the day. It was huh. like at 10.30 in the morning. But that was their three-song set. I threw California Girls in from about the same time frame, just for, for the heck of it. But, That's uh, awesome. We That's just awesome. heard Surfing USA, Good Vibrations, Wouldn't It Be Nice, and California Girls. Our brand-new feature, we're going to do this all summer. with a, It could be a trap rock band, you know, like Jim Morris and the Big Bamboo Band, or Corned Beef for Curry, or <laughs> Trap Rock Junkies. Or, you know, I might do the Eagles or, you know, whoever. So we're going to do that all summer. Are, are you picking those, or do you, do you have a request well, line open to who people really want to request, they could. Yeah, yeah sure. 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 Well, I'll tell you what, with your, your wisdom of uh, all things rock and roll and tro- rock, I'm telling you, anything that you would choose would probably go over. Well, thanks, Bob. It sounded like you had a request, though, maybe. <laughs> I could, do. The Eagles are always my favorite. Eagles. Too. Yes, yes. I finally got to see them <clears throat> in uh, last fall, uh-huh. Karen and I. The most expensive concert I ever went to, <laughs> but one of the best concerts I ever saw. It was incredible. It really well, was. Well, they, they, they really uh, accomplished a lot for crossovering from... Uh, yeah. You know, just country and folk and Southern California rock and all that Amazing. kind of stuff. That just, uh, yep, it's their mm-hmm. stage show. I don't know if you've seen it, but they got these videos mm-hmm. everywhere, and it's just an incredible. And you know thing. what? I, I've always wondered how does a football team write that great music? <laughs> there you go. But uh, boom. Ba-da-dum. Ba-da-dum. That was a great setup. Thank there you. We, go. <laughs> we got Bob Banerjee in the house. <laughs> We're going to take a very quick break. Flocking the Faithful's coming up. This is our Flocking the Faithful number three of four uh, preview shows. And we're going to take a very quick break. Bob's, we're going to play some of Bob's stuff. And we have a brand new song. I've, I've, I should have done this earlier in the show, but we are getting to it. Mike Nash yes. has a brand new song about beer called Cold Beer. Cold Beer. And this is off of his solo. His solo record's coming right. out in mid-June, June 15th, I think the date. And the CD is called Stay Thirsty. <laughs> so I think I see a theme. I'm getting a theme there, too. That's good. <laughs> see <it> a theme. <laughs> Okay, on duty, it is the Island Time Radio Show. Check out our website when you get a chance, itrshow.com, itrshow.com. I have, from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, in the house, Bob Banerjee. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Total (laughs) spontaneous appearance tonight. I knew. It was a surprise to all my friends up here in Cleveland because I seriously decided at the last minute. I pointed the car north, and this is where it led me. This is awesome. And you guys, you and uh, the band Corned Beef and Curry, you're going to be playing Real Bar. Yes. That is Saturday, June 8th. Saturday, June 8th. About 9 o'clock. Is it June 8th? Yeah, 6th, 7th, and 8th, and 9th. Yeah, that's right. Are you going to hang around for the singer-songwriter? I am. I am. I'm not leaving until Sunday when when I'm done playing. Excellent. (laughs) Well, this year's singer-songwriter session is going to be one for the books, I think, because it sounds like a lot of people are hanging around, and this, this should be awesome. Okay, uh, let's let's we're gonna in this set we're gonna play a Bob Energy song. In fact, why don't we do a corned beef and curry as well? Oh, that'd be cool. And the uh, foreign country CD <laughs> that you put out this came out about a year ago. If anybody has ever wanted to see an Indian guy on a tractor with a cowboy hat on, okay, I mean, I I've seen you know Don Middlebrook has some of the best CD covers ever. He, he looks yeah. so comfortable, you know, yeah. and then you look at all your trop rack guys, you know, in front of huge pools of water with sailboats and right. then there's me with a freaking cracker okay so that's good and the john deere on the inside yes oh yes and a picture of me playing violin when i was 10 years old so, right yeah how do so, you say that that is namaste namaste oh, okay. is the is a casual greeting in uh for that's brought up by Indian. it just means basically uh good salutations good feelings to all so awesome that's good we're gonna play um unless you got a request for another yeah. one uh, if Love Was a Radio, one of my favorites. That's cool. I wrote it specifically for you. <laughs> Did it? Okay. In sure. 1991. <laughs> oh, it's an old song. It's an old song. Okay. Very old. But thank you. I appreciate it. I hope people like it. Are you working on uh, something else right yes, now? Yes, I am. I, I am. I am working on something that's more violin-y. Uh, okay. There's a whole CD that's going to be coming out, hopefully, that will feature way more violin stuff on it because uh, I've really gotten back to my stuff and, um, you know, my classical stuff. And it's not going to be... Um, uh, as uh, heavy with vocals and stuff like that, it'll be more instrumental. So okay. maybe uh, I've had a request for Christmas tunes. I've had a request for mm-hmm. movie themes. So you know who knows well, what's going to end up on it. Okay, so well, we'll get posted. Keep posted on that one. All right. We have your one of your favorite uh, biggest songs that you did solo was called La 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 Beer Me. <laughs> 
And <laughs> well, it's famous because you made it famous. You guys here at Island Time played it as part yeah. of your normal rotation for years, and this a- is great. Amo and I got kind of went nuts on it when it was brand new. And we I were, know. We were playing a lot. It's been ten. It's been eight years. I think it's longer than <laughs> really <laughs> nine <laughs> least, years. At least nine or ten. Yeah, twenty ten. But it's become yeah. a, a classic, a, a, a fan favorite at, at your live shows. But anyway, Mike Nash now yes. has another beer song. And this is from his forthcoming uh, solo record called Stay Thirsty. Yeah. We're going to debut it tonight. Let's see how it compares to Lollap. No, not that no, we're comparing. No, it's no compare. <laughs> I set him up so that you can have a cold beer. So, so you can have a cold beer. <laughs> so let's check it out. This is Mike Nash from Southern Draw Band uh, doing a solo record. This is Cold Beer from that new uh, record coming out in just a couple of weeks. <laughs> Set the king up over time Says to stick this job Where the sun don't shine I'm packing my old truck up And pointing her south Man, I ain't gonna stop Till the road runs out I need a the radio how simple to turn it on and let the songs of life surround us as we travel on if love was a radio a voice we all could hear the way to people's hearts would be through their ears invisible the waves would travel through the air 
how to believe that I'll receive that signal anywhere. No boundaries and no walls could ever love control. And it would fill us all deep inside our souls. If love was a radio, how simple to turn it on. Let the songs of life surround us as we travel on. If love was a radio, a voice we all could hear. The weight of people's hearts would be through their ears. A universal dial, infinite energy. Bearing songs of every style with smiles and harmony. No language could deny, no creed or color shun the meaning deep inside. Love is for everyone. If love was a radio, how simple to turn it on and let the songs of life surround us as we travel on. If love was a radio, a voice we all could hear. The weight of people's hearts would be through their ears. So people sing along. With my sweet radio, and I will share my hope for you, no matter where I go. And as our songs combine, and as our voices ring, the world will sing along, and we'll keep listening. If love was a radio, how simple to turn it on. Songs of life surround us as we travel on. If love was a radio, a voice we all could hear. The way of people's hearts would be through their ears. This land is your land. This land is my land. From California. to turn it on and let the songs of life surround us as we travel on if love was a radio a voice we all could hear the way to people's hearts would be through their ears hi this is pat daly i'm listening to island time on wbwc from key west to put in bay the 
Lord was handing out body parts to the whole U.S. of A. And he was trying to divide them up in a fair but equal, impartial way. He had hands for the takers, tongues for the talkers, brains for the thinkers, feet for the walkers. While the angels were busy picking, packing, wrapping, and mailing all that away. The Lord said, first, we're going to hand out the stomachs. Man, look around. We got stomachs here to spare. Send the strong ones off to Detroit City. Takes lots of guts to live there. And send the upset ones to Washington and the flat ones to the Frisco Gays. But take the fat flapping guts, slapping beer, lapping bellies, and put them all in pudding days. He put them all in pudding day. What did I say? He took the fat, flapping guts, slapping beer, lapping bellies, and put them all in pudding bay. Then he came to the female derriere, started passing those asses around. And he said, don't send none down to Texas, because those women rarely sit down. And gather up all those little bitty apple asses and ship them on off to L.A. Boy. Boy. Take the big bouncing broad beam bowl and bobaloobas and put them on the buddy in me. He put them on the buddy in me. What did I say? Took the big pants and brought me full of bubbles, put them all in pudding me. And finally he came down to hearts and he said, We're gonna send Vegas, all the hearts with no pity. Gather up those tiny little dried up hearts and ship them up to New York City. And send the broken ones to Nashville So they can sing sad songs all day But take the kind ones and the deep ones The tender ones and sweet ones The kind ones, the deep ones, the tender ones, and sweet ones. And he put them all in pudding bay. What I see. He put them all in pudding bay. What I see. He put them all in pudding bay. They say she rules the waves with the world crown of the mighty Great Lakes. She's never been captured in water, she fought. But Commodore Perry was waiting in the bay. It was 18 and 13, the waters were rough And tension was building and we had enough And Britain controlled New York to Detroit But the winds were changing in the bay Don't give up the ship, don't give up the ship 
fly the flag high and never forget. Take back these waters from the Brits and don't give up the ship. Five ships were rescued after Fort Erie fell in the cover of night. Past the British patrol, Commodore Perry led his vessels to sail to prepare for a battle of the mighty Great Lakes. And in the forest offshore, the men cut and they chiseled. They carved mighty brigs that would sail to the battle. The men that sailed them were all in amaze at the sight of the tall ships in Putin Bay. Don't give up the ship. Don't give up the ship. Fly the flag high and never forget. Take back these waters from the Brits and don't give up the ship. And then a loud cry pierced the eerie morning air. Ready for battle, the British are here. A glorious fleet was arriving to fight. And Commodore waited till the wind was just right. Then he sailed the Lawrence, full sail to the Brits, arriving to guns that just riddled his ship. The cannonballs splintered and the blood filled the deck, wounded and helpless and drifting towards death. With no cannons left, it was certain disaster. Four men Perry rode to the Niagara. They were gripping the words stitched on blue canvas. And they raised up the flag with the words Don't give up the ship. Send Niagara surging towards British Wales. The broadside between those enemy ships. Commodore Perry defeated the unbeatable Brits. Don't give up the ship. Don't give up the ship. Fly the flag high and never forget. Take back these waters from the Brits And don't give up the ship Don't give up the ship Don't give up the ship Fly the flag high and never forget Take back these waters from the Brits And don't give up the ship Flying Jays right here on Island Time featuring Jameson Charles, who lives, actually lives on Puddin' Bay. And uh, they will be at, Jameson at least, will be at uh, Mojito Bay during our Flocking of the Faithful weekend. So we're looking forward to that. That song, of course, uh, from their EP, Don't Give Up the Ship, about the Battle of 1812, the War of 1812, which is very linked to Puddin' Bay mm-hmm. historically. That's and awesome. let's see, what else do we have? Uh... We had Pat Daly, Patrick Houston Daly with Body Parts Live. That was fun. And a guy named Bob Banerjee with If Love Was a Radio from never, a Foreign Country City. Never trust those furners. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all tonight on the Island Time Radio Show. Having a good time. Bob Banerjee in the house. We got time yeah. for just a couple of more songs. All right, Bob Banerjee, it is, it is late night. It is. It is. Uh, it is getting into the last portion of the show. And I don't, I don't know if you've ever listened to our show at this time of night. We end the uh, 
evening with a social from Mike Mad Dog. Oh. Mike Mad Dog Adam. So here we go. Yes. Social. 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 There we go. Do you guys have a social in your show? Do you do like a, hey, let's tip one or... Oh, yeah, there's always a tip one. <laughs> but you don't have a uh, standard song. Look, I played an Irish band. Every song is a tip every one. Song, okay? Every Doesn't song. Matter. There you go. Every song's a social. Every song's a social. Man, I'm looking at his schedule. Did you know this is his 40th year at the Roundhouse? <gasps> wow. So when you get the buckets at the Roundhouse, they're actually going to say Mike Mandatum's 40th anniversary. He deserves every good thing that could yeah. happen to him. He is, oh, my gosh, talk about a legend. Oh, yeah, he's the man uh, at Puddin' Bay. Yeah. He'd be in the Puddin' Bay Hall of Fame as soon as they put that up together. Yep. Uh, but anyways, next dates will be, uh, the, let's see, July, uh, June. June 1st, the 2nd, and then during Flag of the Faithful, 7th, 8th, and 9th. So we're looking forward to that. Good. Good, good, good. All right. We're going to do a song from you guys, Corned Beef and Curry Band. Brand this new. is fun. Yeah, this is, a, this is a good CD because if you ever need a CD that you could just put on for, like, when you're feeling Irish, there's a lot of this. Um, just let me tell you real quickly about this, this CD itself. We took uh, a bunch of tracks that had been recorded with just the three of us, with uh, John McCann and Hamish Dindak and, and me, and uh, we thought, you know what? It needs more. So that's why it's called Live-ish Irish, is because we took live performances. We went into the studio, and we added a bunch of instruments and vocals and things. Okay. And one of the, the, the things that gets us the, uh, a lot of audience participation is this, uh, this next song. Um, because it's, uh, it takes you back to the old days of listening to Johnny Horton wow. on the radio. So, and, and because it's Memorial Day, uh, I request that you play this song so that, uh, you know, it's about a war and it's about getting through it and uh, in their own special way. <laughs> there we go. Battle of New Orleans. All right. Then. Corn, beef, and curry. Liveish Irish music. Liveish Irish. On Island Town. Mm -hmm. Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico. 
Took the barrel melted down Then we got vanilla gator And we fought another round Filled his head with cannonballs Powdered him behind When he touched the powder up The gator lost his mind Fired up guns And the British kept it coming Was it quite as many As there was a while ago Five points four And they began to run Down to Mississippi To the Gulf of Mexico And they ran through the bushes where rabbits couldn't go Ran so fast that the hounds couldn't catch them Down the Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico And she went to the ball Her fairy godmother took care of it all She gave her glass slippers and a shiny coat She turned a pumpkin into a fairy boat The prince of the ball was a guy named Fred He came from Toledo with a bucket on his head Her fairy godmother said he looks okay But don't forget my warning about Puddin' Bay Remember, it's too far to swim and you can't fly a jet. You can't take a train, so don't forget. Unless you want to ride in a pumpkin pie, the ferry boat leaves at midnight. Fred and Cinderella, they misbehave. Up in the monument and down in the cave They danced in the evening and they drank a lot of wine The next thing you know they were hearing chimes Oh no! It's too far to swim and you can't fly a jet You can't take a train so don't forget Unless you want to ride in a pumpkin pie The ferry boat leaves at midnight Then they found the secret of Puddin' Bay As they watched the last ferry boat sail away Fred took her hand, he was feeling all right And Cinderella said, all right, we got all night Because it's too far to swim and you can't buy a jet You can't take a train, so don't forget If you're Cinderella and you're feeling horny The ferry also comes in the morning one more time if it's too far to swim and you can't buy a jet you can't take a train so don't forget screw the godmother this is heaven and the morning fairy comes at seven
Hopefully that nice weather will come to South Bass Island here in a couple of weeks, a week and a half, 10 days. I think we're 10 days away at this Can point. Can you believe that? Amazing. But uh, we just heard Jimmy Buffett changes in attitudes, changes in latitudes. We also had in their battle in New Orleans from Corned Beef and Curry. Ha-ha. And we had Cinderella goes to Putin bay from Faust and Lewis from years ago when they played the beer barrel. That's so cool. They, they played at the beer barrel? According to their picture on the album. <laughs> they have a beer barrel in the picture? Yes. yes. <laughs> so we managed to get another beer song in here before? I'm thinking, uh, yeah, maybe you could cover that song, perhaps, you guys. I think you never so. Know. It's a beer song. It's a fun man. song. Yeah. They have another one called Save the Beer Lads. You've ever heard that one? <laughs> Save the Beer Lads. Save <laughs> the Beer. Oh, yeah. Okay. Anyway. Me. All right there, brother. But, hey, Bob, uh, this has been so cool. Totally spontaneous. Totally. And I'm glad you did it and uh, surprised the hell out of me. But I show up whenever okay. there's a whenever there's a power outage, call me. Okay, <laughs> That's right. Or never mind, your phone won't work, so That's it's right. okay. Just call me anyway. That's right. But uh, under the circumstances, everything, uh, just thank you for this, being here. This is awesome. I love, uh, I love my weekend in Cleveland with everybody here. And, and I know there's a lot of people that I didn't get to see. So my apologies to all the friends that I didn't run into this weekend. But I promise you, next time I'll give you more warning and uh, we'll have some time. But in the meantime, if you really want to hang out, there's Putin bay Putin so, bay Yeah. June 6th through the 9th. Mm-hmm. You guys will be there Saturday night. And you'll be part of the jam band at Mr. Ed's. Yep. I might even stick around for Sunday for the singer-songwriter stuff. That would be awesome. Oh, I think that's great. Katie Moore and I are hosting that from 11-ish to 2-ish. I'll be at up at the crack of noon. Yes. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm, it's always a problem for me because I'm the MC, <laughs> and I'm coming off a Saturday night of Putin Day, and I'm like crawling, oh, crawling man. to this thing. I know. And uh, yeah, so anyway, that's, that, that'd be awesome if you I can make wait. that. I can't wait. I can't wait. That'll be so good. And uh, of course, you guys, always for years, you've played the Boardwalk. This will be your first time at Real Bar. Mm-hmm. They got great acoustics there. And, and then we have the jam session, right, at uh, 7 uh, earlier, Mr. Yeah, earlier, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so so be good. this is going to be fantastic. You have a website, Bob? I know. I do. Uh, Indians playing all kinds of music dot com. <laughs> 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 oh, I don't have. A, I have a. I have a fairly popular Facebook page for those that are on Facebook. Okay. And of course, there's cornedbeefandcurry.com, just like it sounds. Corned beef and curry. So you guys have the website. Yeah, we okay. Do. And it's corned, C O R N E D, not corn beef. <laughs> this has been a total blast. Thanks you for Thanks, doing DK. this. This was out, just outstanding. And we got one more flocking of the faithful uh, preview next week, next Monday. We're going to have Mike Mad Dog Adams. Excellent. In the house. And you said 40 years, right? 40 years at the Brown House. The man deserves every good thing. Started oh. in 1978. Wow. And he's still doing it. At, yeah, I was uh, like a tight. No. <laughs> now that Pat Daly's retired, I mean, he's he's like the man. Wow. You know, the senior, if you will. Um, I'm not sure he'd like me saying <laughs> that, but he's the man at Putin Bay. Absolutely. Wonderful. But thank you, Bob, for being here. This was DK, awesome. DK, thank you very much. I appreciate you being here, too. Much love to this beautiful trop, rock, trop rock community it is, ladies. <laughs> Thanks, GK.